What is up, gamers? We're in Eventide Town, home of the beautiful Dodrio Farms. And there's a gym here as well, but it's probably a little tough. So, what we're planning to do beforehand is, if we go a little bit to the east, there will be a route and we can train, get some EXP, level up, kick some bird keeper ass, and hopefully be tough enough for the gym. So, let's get it on. We'll start with this guy and we'll go up until we hit the next settlement and then come back to the gym. That's today's agenda. So these guys are fairly simple. They just have a bunch of do duos and double hits kind of an annoying attack. And that was a critical. It's kind of like double kick, but I think it's dragon move. I don't know who... Uh, double hit. I, I feel like that's a Garchomp move. Or what the hell is Garchomp's first and second form? Gibble and Gabite? I, I don't remember. I remember Platinum, I got a Garchomp on my team because you could go into that one cave and catch one. And he's pretty good. Like I like Ground Dragon. Big Flygon head around here. And oh man. Oh yeah, we gave him Leftovers. Nightshade, that's gonna hurt a lot. If we don't kill him in two hits, uh, we'll just lose all our HP, because Nightshade does damage equal to the opponent's level. It's a very weird move. It's sometimes better than Dragon Rage, which does, like, just a straight 40. Yeah, there's another trainer here. What, what were you doing there? He was just... Some of these trainers, I don't know, like, there was the previous episode where that girl was just kind of, like, facing the wall, like, the NPCs just kind of turn their heads sometimes in very peculiar directions. And that might kill me. I hope not. <laughs> I, uh, I got a little cocky there, eh? Alright, uh, Kwame is, uh, rock type, so maybe this will help. And Nightshade, not very pleasant at all. Or is it the user's level? I... I'm gonna be honest, man, I... It's been a long time, so I'm not... I'm not, like, 100% up on things. I believe that was their level, not mine, because if it was 22 points, I'd be at, like, 44 health. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back and heal real quick. You know that feeling, right, when you've got a Pokemon on your team who's very close to leveling up, and you just want to do nothing but evolve them as quick as possible. Thankfully, we had a Firestone in this hidden little nook, which I am going to immediately use on Frigley, because he's the only person that can evolve. So we at least got one member of our team fully evolved, finally. We probably have more evolution sooner if I didn't just get a six member team like the second gym onward, but I, I like having a lot of characters. He wants to learn extreme speed. Oh, that is an excellent move. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of Roar. It really hasn't been helping me. And yeah, like Bite, Metal Claw, they, they kind of have some uses. Extreme speed is just excellent all around, though. It used to be an exclusive mood. Mood. <laughs> move. I don't know why the hell I said that way. Uh, there's some stuff here as well. Find a full restore. Not bad at all. Let's just take a look in here. We found Sharp Beak. Well, that might be good on Big Grape, but I'm not sure. It's hard work, yep. Is there anything in here? Can I battle this guy? Nope. It's a Scare Murkrow, yeah. Alright. Ha ha, very funny. And what do we got here? Old Famous Dodrio Ranch. You can ride them, but I don't care. It's a stupid mini game where you like click the uh, jump button to go over obstacles. <laughs> what a whiny bitch. It's kind of like the, is it the turbo tunnel? You know, the thing in Battletoads where you have to like jump over the obstacles. It's like one of those things. I don't really care for those mini games. They're so-so. Anyway, we're just gonna kill this Togetic some more XP, and yeah, you failed. Probably level up more of our characters. 
Raiders, because we do need to have a bit more of a balanced team, but... Ah, oh, just one more level, folks. We'll get that evolution. And Confuse Ray, that's not bad, but also not very good. And, oh, that's bad. I can't do a damn thing about that. Uh, Kwame could use a bug move, but let's try out Frigley. He's new. He's got freshly evolved, and I hate the back sprite for Arcanine. It's like a spiky head. It's like some Lisa Simpson hair going on there. Anyway, you made the wrong choice. <laughs> Buffing fire moves. Oh, prankster. Oh, okay, whatever, dude. It's not gonna stop the onslaught that will come and destroy the pathetic thing you call your life. Oh, okay. Help the bit. I mean, you're gonna get two shot instead now. You can, buff, you can buff your defense or whatever. Oh wow, grass attack. Yeah, that did like nothing. You're so dead, kid. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we got him. That was not bad at all, folks. And they've got a leafy on. Okay. Oh, well, better watch out. There's sunlight. They're gonna use a solar beam on me. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> like I care. And that was great. I like that. Frigley is now really pulling some weight. Yeah, you, it's, this is not your day, eh? And we got a kid here. He's got bugs, so you know what to do. Just had to switch to my rock type so I could smash them. Danny boy. Oh, Jaltic. There's a lot of guys that my fire types could actually really mess up. Also, Bulldoze would not... Well, okay. I was thinking, like, uh, I could probably hit him first, but... I think Rock Smash or whatever the hell this move is called, Rock Blast, would be the best choice. And Fury Cutter does, like, absolutely nothing, but let's Bulldoze him. Thundershock. Why would you shock a rock? And I don't know if he has static. I think he can have static and compound eyes, which boosts accuracy. And compound eyes uh, thunder is like the funnest thing in this game. It's like a huge kill everything move. And it like has a very good accuracy. Whoa. Okay. Nice. It's just dead. Yeah, poor Ledian just can't really pull his weight at this point in the game. Another Joltik. Uh, maybe we can survive? I would like Kwame to level up already. Because Crustal is very cool. And oh, shoot, he's got acid. But that was only 4 damage, so... Okay. Nice, we got him. Still not enough to level up. Unfortunately, Joltik is a tiny little insect. It doesn't give much XP. It's Aspear Berry. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. I think it's Confusion, I almost want to say. What do you got? My father was a bird trainer. His father was a bird trainer. <laughs> Alright. Randy. Think I'll be able to take him out this turn? Probably not, but it's worth a try. I'm not. I just didn't feel like healing because then I have to like cut things and you know edit, and that's such a pain in the ass. Oh, come on. Five hit that clown. Yeah. That was luck and pluck, folks. Look at that. <laughs> Good while it lasted, I suppose. Uh, let's just use Marshy's. Fury attack. Oh, he's gonna get all five, ain't he? Yeah, that always happens. No, he only hit three times. Static! 
Nice. I promise, as soon as this guy evolves, I'm not going to use anything else. Um, excuse me, no, I will use anything else. I got a little mixed up there, I'm sorry. It's still too early, my coffee hasn't kicked in. I apologize. Now we're going to take on the gym. I still want to evolve Marshies, but after that we're going to level up other characters. So, what do we have here? Yo, Chip, make it. This place is huge, and look at all these airplanes. I'm sure you can guess what type of trainers here specialize in. Steel. No, flying, of course. We don't really have ice moves, and uh, grass, unfortunately, is not going to help. Because, oh man. Yeah, so he even recommends to do a bit of training, which conveniently enough, there's a route just right up there. But let's take on this guy first. So this gym is pretty easy. The only thing I don't like about it is the puzzle does not uh, stay the way it does when you leave the building. So you have to redo it all when you come back. So if you need to like heal or do any touch-ups or whatever, buy some potions, um, you gotta do the whole puzzle all over again. That's a little frustrating. I dislike that immensely, but it's whatever. Damn, Mr. can flinch. All right, that's annoying. Are you kidding me? At least I'm gaining health back. <laughs> he flinch locks me. I'm gonna be pissed, man. Thank God, finally. He's just gonna keep spamming this, eh? That's really fun. You're a sick little freak, you know that? And, okay, I guess it was just a fluke that I flinched those two times in a row. That was very unpleasant, however. Oh, we are so close. And Doduo. Thankfully, we have some recovery, so... Marshy's bulk really comes in handy. So I, I like leftovers for that reason. It makes any of the defensive characters just a lot harder to deal with. Oh, finally. There we go. And that is it. And Trumby. Do I even bother? I guess I could. Yeah, these guys do need to level up, actually. Like, I have one level 30, and a bunch of early 20s here. Oh, they missed. We're just gonna just sink our fangs in. And then from here on out, we're gonna try leveling up the other members of my team, because they're really lagging behind. It's very unfortunate. And man... That's annoying. I think, though, I can still do well in this gym. As long as my guys are, like, decently leveled and have good moves, they can probably pull their weight. Oh, he's evolving. Look at this. And you guys all know what uh, Flappy evolves into. It's Ampharos. Everyone knows him and loves him. He's a cool, weird kangaroo animal. It's like a sheep, but not really. He's kind of more like a llama. Anyway, he was supposed to learn Thunder Punch on Evolution, however, he already knows Thunder Punch, so it's kind of irrelevant. But let's put Inquame out. I don't think Weedle is going to get a single, uh, just a single opportunity for the next while to level up at all, because the next area after this is a snow area, which, uh, take a guess what type is going to be in the snow area. And Natu, oh boy, that's easy pickings. It doesn't matter how high its level is, it'll... Oh man, that's a little annoying. Oh, that's really bad. Thankfully, his pitiful defenses... <sighs> Only a two hit, are you kidding me? That sucks. Yeah, having to back out, piss off, man. Alright, uh, I guess I have to use Kevin. That is so disappointing, man. That tone from Ominous Wind is, it, it, it pisses me off so much, because uh, that woods you go in when you 
go make a wrong turn, it will play that song and it's so grating. I hate that forest section so much, they ought to fix it in the next update. Swablu, oh boy. I'm struggling a little bit here, folks. I didn't level my characters up properly at all. And wow, what the hell? Alright, well, unfortunately... No, you can't heal during battles! I'm Chugga Carnory, I make all the rules for Pokemon Let's Plays! Chugga Carnroy shits and pisses in his diapers and plays Brony Splatoon games. You guys see that video of like his house tour where he has like a whole Ikea shelf with like My Little Pony dolls? That shit's fucked. I would never do that, folks. I would get an Ikea shelf and put all my Gundams there. And wow, it paralyzed me. No, not a little Dragon Ball. Oh. oh no, I'm fully paralyzed. Uh. I'm just gonna heal again. Fuck you. You know, I don't get why people make such a big deal about it. Cause the NPCs do this all the time, where it's like, oh, you almost killed their guy. Let let me just full heal. Like fuck you, dude. I'll do it. You do it. I don't care. And of course it missed. Why wouldn't it? Unfortunately, none of my moves have very good accuracy. I need the XP Chowda. Yes. Okay, he's dead. Go to hell, dude. Oh, darn. Is that really all you have to say? No, let's just use my Paralyzed Heal. Yeah, I have berries that can heal Paralysis, so I don't give a damn. Let's just go back up to full HP. I'm gonna hit the switch. I really don't want to have to go back to the center after doing all these stupid puzzles. Like that's gonna, that's gonna be some hair pulling, angering stuff, eh? And Wingle, yeah, I hate Wingle. Um, I don't even know if I can do a very good job. I might just switch out to Weedle. Uh, Bubble Beam, yeah. That would have been super effective. That does like nothing to me. It's like speed fell? What? Who cares? Yeah, just leech seed this clown. Let's spray them with toxic sludge. Oh, look at that. So even if I die from like a wing attack, I'll have the next character set up. And sludge should do pretty well. It's like neutral to the flying water, yeah. You're just gonna lose more health from this. There you go. Quick attack. That's all you can do, dude. Yeah, I need to level up my starter a little bit. I've been neglecting him, unfortunately. Um, and he'll probably be benched for a while. Just because there's like nothing... There's absolutely nothing in this area that's going to give him any good EXP. And wow, he died already. Well, if Kwame can pick up the slack, I can rock blast him, and that'll be pretty good. Thankfully, I resist flying. Maybe I don't resist it, but we'll, we'll be hurting him good. Nice. Okay, come on. Just give me the five hit, man. That's a critical, I just die. Nice, okay. Very good. Alright, finally, we're getting up there. And we got some good points on our defense and attack. Which is what I like to see. Oh, another Wingle? You gotta be kidding me, man. I am not gonna stick around to see what happens there. Uh, I guess I could use Frigley, but I don't think that'll help too much, because I know a Bubble Beam is coming, but I can at least reduce his uh, attack, so his quick attacks will be a lot less painful. But yeah, that was kind of suicidal, but uh, we'll just extreme speed, so no matter what, he'll take a big chunk of his health out nice. Yeah, that's all I could ask for there. Oh man, we're not doing too hot in this area. I could just send out marshes and just kind of solo this, but that wouldn't be very fun or interesting. I 
think I have to. Oh. What? Oh, that was nothing. All right. Thankfully, that intimidate really came in there. Nice, big grape. I think he levels up to 25. So I I really want this guy to level up already because use ray. Yeah, you know, nightshade is just kind of useless. Cause I already have a good ghost attack. I don't have any psychic attack, which is weird. Now this guy learns psychic at like level 60, which is just the most inconvenient thing ever. Oh boy, we got two more of these clowns and we'll be done with this place. But then I have to go out and heal, which is not going to be cool. Chance. Oh, no way. That's the last thing I want to see here. Thankfully, uh, Marshies can just quadruple kill this clown. Gyarados wannabe. <laughs> I uh, actually did use Pelper in a playthrough of Ruby, and he was okay. It's, uh, it's just not the same as Gyarados, though, which is an absolutely amazing water type. Kind of only hamstrung by its absurd weakness to lightning, but kind of makes sense, because he would just be broken otherwise. It's like when people uh, complain in, not necessarily Yu-Gi-Oh, but in like Magic and other games, like, oh, this card sucks because it dies to, to removal. It can be killed by something. And it's like, well, yeah, it has to, otherwise it'll just be unbalanced. Like, if you just had a card or a character in a game that was, you know, unbeatable, that would ruin it and suck. Anyway, this should help a little bit because we leveled up. Whew, okay. I really want a Zatu. Okay, I can probably get off another uh, triple shot here, hopefully. that level up, man. Jodo. Think I can do this? Maybe. You know, some of these Gen 5 characters evolve at just really weird levels. Well, I'm just gonna do weird status effect stuff to you. Fucker. I don't think Reflect is going to help, because I believe this is a special attack that he's using, and I, I don't really know what I'm going for here. I want to check this out, though, because I know in, I think it's 7th or 8th generation, they changed, not Reflect, excuse me, they changed Teleport to uh, switching in battles. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, okay, that makes sense. There we go. Yeah, see, I wanted to figure that out. So, we set up a barrier. Or, like, not a barrier. Barrier is an actual attack. Yeah, look at that. This quick attack does nothing and will heal off whatever damage. But we killed him in one shot anyway. I was just worried that he'd hit, hit me with, like, a critical... I just die and like, you know, have to reset, but I have to reset this entire dungeon now because I have to go back and heal on account of, you know, the gym leader is the next person I have to deal with, so I'm going to cut to that and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, we are here at the gym, let's challenge them. Hello, you must be a new challenger. I'm Wendy, leader of the Eventide Village. I've flown just about everywhere in this world, but this sleepy little town will always be home. Flying types can be as fierce as a raging storm, or as graceful as a spring breeze. That's why they're so fantastic. Dot dot dot. Now then, are you ready to earn your wings? Every time I hear the name Wendy, I uh, think of Gun X Swords Japanese dub, or the dude who 
plays Van is like always saying, Hey, Wendy! But the way he says it is just always funny. What? Oh, dude. I hope you get poisoned for that. Oh! Get fucked. <laughs> I'm gonna send in Kwame. I acquired Rock Slide. Which will be very helpful. Uh, what the? Holy shit, dude. Alright, I'm just gonna switch out because I don't want to get totally destroyed by that attack. Damn, that is too strong. Too strong, folks. I'm just gonna sacrifice a bunch of teammates. What if I survived? What if I had breakfast today? Actually, let's just do this. Agility? Why? Nice. Alright, that, that guy's down. to be a little tactical here because this team is way higher level than mine and I think I resist that because I'm poisoned. Yes. That's good. And we'll just sludge for super effectiveness. That is how... Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't know they resisted that. I think it's time to use Leech Seed. <laughs> I'm just gonna eventually kill this dude. I don't know why they aren't switching out again. I guess they just gave up. Super effective on this guy. Oh, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, Marshy is a little bulkier, and I can use Fire Punch for some extra damage. That sucks so much, man. Thankfully, Intimidate really helped there. Actually, I have an absolutely nefarious idea. So, if we paralyze them. Yes, so if they're paralyzed, they'll be completely unable to... We'll get the drop on them, and on top of that, they can sometimes be fully paralyzed, just unable to do anything. Spikes? Oh, that sucks. That is degenerate as all hell. I guess they gave up their fly combo there. And nice! Oh, we killed Skarmory. That's good. If you let Skarmory just do its thing, it becomes very dangerous, and... Weather? What? Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna Thunder Wave this. Oh! Oh, no! That's awful. Alright, well, I guess I'll just Thunder Punch, and whoa, Dragon Pulse! What the hell? Their, their highest level guy is a level 35 swab. That's crazy. 
Jeez. Do I even bother switching? I guess not. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why it isn't evolved into Altaria. I think it evolves at like level 34 or something. Probably 36, I guess. And ooh, wow. It does lose its flying type when it roosts, so that's part of why that. Wow, critical? Okay. It should do it though, right? Yeah, oh man. That was a tough battle. <laughs> Though Jirio can just blast through your team if you're not careful, because it's so fast and Drill Peck has like a decent critical ratio and power on top of that. <laughs> oh nice, we can get Fly. Oh, they didn't give it to me. I was gonna say, if they gave me an HM, that would be very sweet. There's a couple places I'd like to visit. But we get Roost. Not a bad move, I suppose. Hungry Roots, no matter how far you go. Awesome. Uh, an interesting condition. <laughs> You're ready and willing. Alright, whatever. Well, gamers, we did just beat the first gym, but I want to cut to the next part we're going to go to. Alright, gamers, we are at the end of Route 9. What lies beyond? Well, we're not going to show it until next time.